So a viewer has uh, looked at an old video I did uh, about my glaucoma situation, the reason I wear these rose-colored glasses. And so that's what the video will be about. It'll be about glaucoma and whether there'll be a cure and a hope that you like the video. If you do like the video, please do like it. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. It just makes an awful big difference. And thank you very much for watching. I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So glaucoma, yeah, it's a battle I've had since 2015, and uh, I've had an awful lot done. I've been through three procedures, and the last one seems to be the most effective. And so that's what we'll uh, read about on the cards. But I'll tell you a little bit about, about glaucoma first. So a viewer has asked me about a cure for glaucoma to do a reading on that. And I want to begin by saying that there is no cure for this disease, no way to improve vision already lost. And by the way, by the time you are diagnosed with glaucoma, you have had uh, vision loss. Uh, the only benefit any procedure or regimen may have once you're diagnosed is to stop or slow down the further loss of vision. Uh, vision cannot be improved or made better uh, at this point. But remaining vision can be protected and perhaps be prevented uh, from getting worse. Uh, my personal journey uh, with this disease started around 2015 uh, when I was living in the Dallas, uh, Texas area during a routine eye examination for a new prescription. My old one wasn't doing the job uh, anymore, but thank God the optometrist found that the eye pressure uh, wasn't what it should be and referred me to an ophthalmologist who, after several very annoying uh, sight tests, confirmed the diagnosis of uh, glaucoma and I was officially old. After questioning the doctor and personal uh, and doing personal research, I chose an aggressive treatment option uh, where they lasered the drain duct to open it in uh, the most offending uh, eye. Now the typical treatment is a series of eye drops a few times a day to reduce the eye uh, pressure. But the research I had done uh, looking for another approach landed me on the laser option. And it's interesting that the, uh, uh, the doctor in Dallas didn't uh, mention that which as it turns out is often the first option that is used in Europe. Now, uh, as it turns out, uh, it didn't work. Apparently, I'm a really good healer and uh, my body healed over the work done to the offending uh, drainage duct. So uh, back to step one. Now, after moving to uh, the Seattle area a few months later, I hunted for other options and multiple eye drops were the best uh, I could find. But I also found that a good ophthalmologists are willing to help me battle this were far and few uh, between. I did find, however, quite by accident, that these rose-colored glasses really help sharpen the remaining vision uh, that I have. Folks uh, naturally think they're a fashion choice, but as a matter of fact, I'm not very pleased uh, with how they look. And, uh, but at this stage of the game, that's a really distant second to um, better vision. Finally, I came across my current doctor, and she had originally been an engineer, as a matter of fact, but went back to school to become an ophthalmologist specializing in glaucoma. And something about her having been an engineer and now an eye doctor, I liked that. Uh, she began to recommend another regimen of eye drops, but asked for a more, but I asked for a more aggressive approach, and that's when I had my second surgery to implant a tiny uh, hair-like translucent artificial duct just above the iris in the white part of the eye and that procedure is the zen gel stent implant and that was june of 2021 while it did work for a short time again my fanatical healing body uh, healed over the artificial duct and it was back to the regimen of eye drops so of course i asked uh, what else can we do and so on the 19th of October, 2021, the gold standard procedure is a kind of a hole punch uh, in a similar location as the Zen gel stent, uh, removing it as it worth the potential scar damage. So it's, the stent stays with me. It even has a serial number. But uh, this trabeculectomy, the final procedure, uh, you can Google it. It meant that I would have to sleep with a plastic eye guard for about two weeks, about the same recovery time as the previous procedure, the stent implant, and then see how that works out, pun intended. And uh, so as of today, uh, late March 2022, the third and final option and procedure seems to be doing uh, the job. So now let's see what the cards have to say about a potential cure or better treatment uh, coming up. 
Okay, viewer BB has a question. Thank you so much, BB, for asking. And I thought, since it's about vision, that I'd use these huge cards, which are so easy to see. And it's just a typical right away deck, but just in a super huge uh, variety. <laughs> so, but BB says, um, about to glaucoma, will there be a cure? I suffer with glaucoma. BB uh, says they suffer with glaucoma and says, uh, when will there be a cure? When will there be a cure? Wow. <sighs> interesting. Um, the current uh, science suggests that uh, there's no way to reverse uh, glaucoma. And so then you have to think, well, well there's some sort of a replacement that can be done uh, because it's nerve damage. Is it a whole nerve to be replaced? Um, is there some artificial way that we'll figure out to make this work? Those groovy glasses that uh, the fellow used to wear on uh, Star Trek. I forget the name of the character. But um, before we look into it, though, let's just have a moment of meditation. Okay. Bibi asks, when will there be a cure for glaucoma? Thank you, BB, for asking the question. I kind of give up on that, but I'm happy with the progress that I've made so far in, in, in keeping it at bay. So um, if you haven't go been to your uh, ophthalmologist, do that and push them because I haven't found many good ones. You know, they, um, for the most part, the majority of the ophthalmologists I've found have been just very um, satisfied with being caretakers and not looking for um, some kind of better solution than the very minimum, really. <clears throat> Six cards. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, and six. So maybe he wants to know when will there be a glaucoma cure? Gosh, I can't imagine. Okay, the signifier for that question, when will there be a cure for glaucoma? Well, this is the Two of Wands. Now, the, the Two of Wands, Wands are actions, plans, um, moving forward. And the Two of Wands typically represents some sort of short-term plan, so looking into the future. And uh, so uh, sh the other, the alternative to this card is the Three of Wands, which is long-term plans, so looking far into the future. So into the future, we're kind of off on the right track, signifier. The challenge to that as to when will there be a cure <sighs> is this page of Pentacles is is uh, the value? So the page is the very least um, um, important of the royal suite, and uh, the page is a messenger who brings a message. In this case, with coins, with Pentacles. Pentacles are money or value or worth. So this page is bringing a small bit of value to the court. It's not as important as maybe something else with. So it's just a small offer uh, to the court with this message, and it's going to be in the future. The base of this reading then, ah. Uh, <clears throat> Truth, justice, rules, law, and health. That's what <clears throat> swords represent for me. And it's a nightmare. It's a difficult situation. It's a hard problem to fix because um, of the very nature of it. So that's the base of this whole reading, is that it is such a hard problem. The past to this reading, about when will there be a cure? <clears throat> Excuse me. But the Ace of Cups is a great big offer, you know, a huge offer of compassion and emotion. And so it's not that the, the willingness isn't there because it is in this and has been. And the sky of this reading then is finding that balance and this is value. So yeah, finding the balance between this, a cure for this, a cure for that. Where is the money being willing to go and where is the expertise being, being uh, propped up and lent to this? <clears throat> and then... The likely outcome with this king of wands is just that if there's a plan it's in the hands of uh, the king and so um it's going to happen it's going to happen when I don't know i don't have room for four more cards here but i will pull three more cards that i'll lay on top of these <clears throat> to try to get a timeline for when for us Vicky. see if we'll make it or maybe it'll be another generation besides us when First card up is going to be, it's a long-term plan. Okay, it's into the future. Sooner than probably we need it. The next card for that, when? Ah, 
<clears throat> medicine has to take a journey. Medicine has to, medicine has to get to clearer water. So, and then the uh, final card that I'll pull for this is a uh, wheel of fortune. So it's in the it's in the cards. It's in the cards. It's in the future. It's on the way, but it's not going to happen right now. Well, we may never know if these cards are correct, but at least it's something to think about. And ask me questions that you want me to address. I'm glad to do it. And uh, thank you so much, very much for tuning in all the time and watching me. Thank you. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on. Okay, so this is the Giant Rider Weight Tarot Deck. And I just thought it'd be fun to use this deck. But um, it comes in, a, you know, it's a slightly, not much more, but just a slightly more substantial box than some of the, the cards come in. And uh, it's got the typical, I mean, everything that everything else would have, but just huge you know, just bigger. Uh, the uh, it's a standard uh, little guidebook, so you know, just not anything super special. And if you're familiar with the uh, Rider Waite cards, um, you'll know how big are these. Does it actually say right here? I'm sure it does. Um, okay, here they are: four inches by six and three quarter inches. Four inches by six and three quarter inches. That's what you got here. But uh, they're the cards that you're used to uh, on any uh, standard uh, Rider weight uh, deck. They're just, in fact, giant. So there you go. We've also got the tiny little ones that you can put in your pocket. So Rider weight cards, fun to use. This should be pretty clear, don't you think? So this is going to be a four card uh, situation here. We'll see how this goes. Maybe not. Maybe we'll just do a regular, regular draw. I don't know. We'll see. But. Um, that's those cards for your perusal. Hey, I'm Mark. It's been my journey through tarot. I'm going to do it all again tomorrow if you want to come, so ciao for now. One, two, three. You really make a big difference. Thank you.